I like this piece. Yeah. Ciao friends! At the Thimble Hooks. Today's tutorial is all about the Jacob's Ladder stitch. I think this is the cutest stitch. This would be an awesome little stitch for baby blanket or anything like that. I think it's really, really cute. It mixes your colors together a little bit, but not too much. So if you have a bunch of solid colors and you just want to make it look a little bit more interesting, this is great. It has a little bit of texture. So I'm going to show you how to do this today. It's really easy, even though it doesn't... It looks like it goes, how on earth did you do all this? It is so simple. It really is. So we're going to get started. This sample that I made here is every shade of pink that the Karen Simply Soft people make. And um, white, of course. But this Karen Simply Soft here in my beautiful pinks because I love my pink. I love my pink. But I am going to show you today with something very different, which is I have my Premier Yarns. Deborah Norville every day and this one is cream this one I believe was oak moss cream oak moss and this is this one is pine green so this one is a kind of a camel mix and this is the dark green that goes in the camel mix and a beige or the cream color so we'll get started this is super simple I'm gonna use my divot silk today. I love this hook. It's a five millimeter hook. This is a four weight yarn. All of these are four weight medium yarns. They call for a five and a half, but we're using a five. It works very nicely with the Jacob's Ladder stitch. And you just alternate the colors that you choose in any way that you want. You see, I did here, I did a pink. And then the medium pink and the dark pink and the medium pink. You can do any kind of a design that you want. I'll leave this up in the corner so you can tell what I'm doing. And now with our cream color, we are going to chain multiples of five plus one. So however big you want to make. If you want to make a big afghan, just keep going. Count in fives. So a slip knot with and our five millimeter hook. And I am going to chain multiples of five to 19, 20. All right, there's my multiple of five. I've got 20, so add one more. So now I have 21. We're going to turn over and work in these back bumps. Work in these back bumps so you have a nice finished edge. And I'm just going to single crochet all the way down. And working in these back bumps is a little bit more time consuming but it makes such a nice edge that I like to do that especially with this stitch with most stitches so we're gonna end up with 20 single crochets down our chain I'll meet you down at the other end and there's my last three stitches in my back bumps of the chain And number 20. The next row, we're going to chain one, turn our work, and now we're going to double crochet in this very first stitch right here. Right away, right in this stitch right here. So we're going to double crochet, working in multiples of five. So there's our first double crochet, two, three, four, and five. There. We have five double crochets. Now at this point we're going to make a loop. That's where we get, that's where we're going to get our loop. So we chain ten. One, two, nine, and come back down here into the top of the double crochet before we started doing all those chains right here under these two loops right there and we're gonna slip stitch so now I just have this little loop floating around out here and I do another grouping of five 
double crochets in the next stitch. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. So there's five more double crochets right here. We're going to do another ten chains. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's going to be your sequence all the way across. We're going to come back down here to the top of the double crochet and do a slip stitch. Let's do that one more time. So now we have two loops floating. Next stitch, double crochet. So we're working in groups of five. Two, three, four, oopsie, and five. And we're going to do our ten chains. Four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 and 10 and do our slip stitch in the top in these two little under these two little loops right here slip stitch again and now when we're at the end we're just going to finish off the last five double crochets without an extra loop so there's one and five There you go. Now we have this goofy looking little thing that's a bunch of double crochets and three loops. We're going to chain one and turn our work and this will be the last row with this color. Now all the way across here we are going to single crochet. So there's one, two, three, there's four, and number five is right here by your loop. There's number five. Now pull your loop to the front, move it over a little bit because you need to find this stitch right here. That's number six. And then to continue your single crochets. Good. Definitely want to move that little loop out of the way towards the front so you can find all of the stitches that need their single crochets. So we're to another loop, move it over. There's the stitch that we want right there. Single crochet, four, and our last one is right here, and that's five. But we're going to change colors now, so we don't want to finish this stitch. Let's get this guy. Now I'm going to change into the oak moss, which is like a like the fun camel. And you can see this is going to be drastically different than the pinks, so you can really do anything you want here. All right, so we're just going to add in our new yarn and finish off that last stitch and chain one. We do the same thing that we did before. We're going to start out in this very first stitch with double crochets, working in groups of five. There's number one, two, three, four, and five. And once you hit five, chain ten. And do our little slip stitch to make a loop and five more double crochets. At number five we add our ten. Ten chains. And 
the slip stitch. And continue that to the end. And there's our last double crochet. Just like we did before, you chain one, turn your work, single crochets across, making sure that you catch both stitches on either side of your loop, especially if you're working with dark stuff because then it gets a little bit harder to see. Push that guy out of the way towards the front, keep him in the front. And single crochets all the way across. Here's my last stitch with this color. So we have loops, three loops here and three loops in the green. We're going to change colors again. We're going to go back to our cream color so you can see the definite contrast here. So there's two ways you can do this. If you're going to put a border on here, just carry your yarn up. If you're not going to put a border on it, then you're going to have to weave in all these ends. So that's your choice. I am not going to weave in ends right now. I'm just going to carry this up. So you grab the original working yarn from your cream, not too tight, and finish that last green stitch. Chain one, turn our work, and we will double crochet in that very first stitch again. Doing our multiples of five. make our loop again with our 10 chains all the way across. And this is my last double crochet. Chain one, turn our work and do all of our single crochets all the way across. And here's my last stitch with this row of green. Added another row of green so I can show you how we finish off. When you've done as many as you want, you're going to carry up the cream again. Finish off this stitch, chain one, and turn our work. This one is a little bit different. We're going to have all of our loops. All of our loops are going to be in the back. And we want to do one row all the way across of just double crochets, no loops. Here's my last double crochet. This row was just double crochets. Remember, no extra loops. So we'll turn it over. So our loops are in the front. Take our front loop and pull the next loop through it like that and pull it up. Do the same all the way up. from the back to the front, just like that. Do the same for all of them. So if you have, or if you're making a big afghan or a throw or something, it will take a little while to do this, but it's not terrible. Just make sure they're not super twisted. There we go. That one's not twisted. So you just come from behind and pull through to the front and lift up. Now the reason we didn't do a loop in this one because we need to finish off and we want it to look kind of like it does down here. So we're going to start with our next row with the white to finish off. It's a chain one turn our work. All of our loops are in the front and counting in groups of five. Again this is one single crochet. All of these will be single crochets. Two, three, Four, and in number five, you want to go through your loop. So we're going to go here and into our fifth single crochet and go around our loop. And then starting again in sequences of five, we're going to do that again with 
stitch number one. So now we're holding this in place so it doesn't flap. So that was stitch number one. This is two, three, four, and five goes through the loop. And then we make our single crochet. So there's number five and number six also goes through the loop or number one for the next sequence of five. So one. So now our loops are secure. They won't come unraveled, just like right here. One more row. I'm gonna make this look just like up here. So it's a chain one and turn and double crochet all the way across. Easy peasy. And here's my last double crochet. And we're done. Now this edge looks very similar to this edge. Double crochets. Give a little bit of space. If you're going to use a border, we'll just cover all these up, all of these little loops along the way. They will get covered up very easily. Again, if you weren't going to use a border, then you're going to have to weave in all those ends. But I think it looks nice as is without a border. Notice on the pink one here, I did not put a border on this and I think it looks wonderful. The edges are good. Now that you know how to do your Jacob's Ladder, practice this because tomorrow we're just going to make this cute little guy. Just our little coffee cozy. Really easy, really fast, but a great way to practice this new little stitch. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks. Turn on notifications because I've got some fun stuff coming up and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye. I like the pink.